alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Welcome back to the IV Ramadan series. My name is Omola Makaraj, and of course, I'm not doing the show alone. I've got with me Abdurrahman Idris. Salam alaikum, everyone. And yes, uh, day three Ramadan, we're already counting. Should I say counting down? We'd like for you not to go <laughs> counting ahead. up and down. Yeah, we don't have a choice anyway. So, how's it yeah. been for you so far? Alhamdulillah, it's been, it's been, it's been getting better because it's now like getting easy to settle in. It's now becoming familiar. And you yes, know, hopefully I'll stop uh, carrying my water bottle <laughs> by accident. Yeah, the habit will break <laughs> for now. Hopefully. So that said, we'll be going now for the Quran recitation. And that is courtesy uh, Fat Games Petroleums in honor of the late Al-Aji Fatah Ibn Salah. We pray that Almighty Allah continue to rest his soul and illuminate his grave and grant him Al-Jannah through doubt. I mean. So right after that will be the lecture series from Omar Suleiman, that's Janna. Yeah. So after that will be the Uma Play, Kotsi, the Uma app, you know, where they show varieties of content on the Uma app. So if you don't have the app already, I'll encourage you, I'll urge you to please download it as soon as possible. So right after that, we're going to short break and we'll be right back. الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألا إنهم هم المفسدون ولكن لا يشعرون وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ آمِنُوا كَمَا آمَنَ النَّاسُ قَالُوا قَالُوا أَنُؤْمِنُ كَمَا آمَنَ السُّفَهَاءُ أَلَا إِنَّهُمْ هُمُ السُّفَهَاءُ وَلَكِنْ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ وَإِذَا لَقُوا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا قَالُوا آمَنَّا وَإِذَا خَلَوْا وَإِذَا خَلَوْا إِلَى شَيَاطِينِهِمْ قَالُوا إِنَّا مَعَكُمْ قَالُوا إِنَّا مَعَكُمْ إِنَّا ما نحن مستهزئون الله يستهزئ بهم ويمدهم في طغيانهم يعمهون أولئك الذين اشتروا الضلالة بالهدى فما ربحت تجارتهم وما كانوا مهتدين مثلهم كمثل الذي استوقد نارا فلما أضاءت ما حوله ذهب الله فلما أضاءت ما حوله ذهب الله بنورهم وتركهم وتركهم في ظلمات لا يبصرون صم بكم عمي فهم لا يرجعون In this season of Ramadan, let us embrace the spirit of compassion, forgiveness, generosity, and self-discipline. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our ibadah as we strive to become better versions of ourselves. May our hearts be filled with mercy, our souls with kindness, 
and may our politeness take over our arrogance. Ramadan Mubarak to you all from Viva. When you speak of the Day of Judgment, it's a lot of darkness and only our good deeds are lighting the way for us. We're desperately trying to find light and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lights up the parts of our bodies that were engaged in good deeds. Now that's the Day of Judgment when it's dark. But Paradise on the other hand has no darkness. So what happens to all that light that was on our bodies when we no longer need to get through the darkness? When we enter into Jannah, that nur, the light becomes added zina, which is beauty, on the very same parts of your body. So while you no longer need the light to see, the beauty of those good deeds will remain on you forever for everyone in paradise to see. Now some are going to be more beautiful in some ways than others, but all will be beautiful in Jannah and not feel any deficiency of beauty because paradise is a place where no one feels left out. The Prophet ﷺ described that our faces on the Day of Judgment are as bright as our Iman, as our faith. So the first batch of people to enter Paradise, he said وسلم, that they have faces like the full moon. And the Prophet ﷺ was described as having a face like the full moon in this life. Now our forms in Jannah are going to be very different and it's hard to perceive and appreciate. The Prophet ﷺ said that the people of Paradise will be raised in the form of Adam ﷺ, 33 years old, with no hair on their bodies, and their eyes will be smeared with kuhul. Now obviously, hair on the body in this life is not necessarily unappealing, especially when you think about, for example, the beards of men. But remember, Jannah is different and our bodies are entirely different once we enter into that realm. Some of the descriptions even sound like translucent beings, but there's a clear, beautiful definition to the bodies at the same time. As for our height, the Prophet ﷺ said, everyone who enters into paradise will be in the form of Adam السلام, who is 60 cubits tall. So that's like 90 feet tall or about 30 meters. So when you speak of height, we're all going to have a height that is unknown to this world, but it's pleasing and we're all the same size in Jannah. We're all also the same age. And the Prophet ﷺ said that the age of the people of Paradise is again 33 years old. Now in this life, this age is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes as Balagha Ashuddahu, which is your peak age. But even then, 33 in Jannah is not like 33 in this dunya because there's imperfection with every age in this dunya. But in Jannah, the point is, is that we're all at a middle age to our joy and to our delight. So we enter into Jannah with the height of Adam السلام, the beauty of Yusuf السلام, and the age of Isa السلام, longing for the companionship of Muhammad وسلم. And of course, there's a well-known funny narration about the age of the people of paradise where the Prophet وسلم, jokes with an older woman about her entrance into Jannah. So this old woman says to the Prophet وسلم, Ya Rasulullah, ask Allah to enter me into paradise. And the Prophet وسلم, says, but old women don't go to Jannah. So she started to cry and the Prophet ﷺ said, no, no, I mean that no woman enters paradise while she is old. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, inna anshatna hunna insha'a faj'alna hunna abkara uruban atraba. That we made them a new creation, young again, loving and equal in age. Now is this ayah talking about the women from paradise, which are the special creation known as Hur al -ayn, or the maidens of paradise? Or is this speaking about the believing women when they enter into paradise? So the answer to that question is that every description of the physical beauty of the Hur al-Ain applies to the believing women as well, but there is more. In one narration, Umm Salama radiallahu anha asked the Prophet ﷺ, she said, Ya Rasulullah, Nisa'u dunya afdal am Hur al -ain? O Messenger of Allah, are the believing women of this world better or are the maidens of paradise? And the Prophet ﷺ said, بَلْ نِسَاءُ الدُّنْيَا أَفْضَلُ مِنَ الْحُورِ الْعِينِ كَفَضْلِ الظِّهَارَ عَلَى الْبِطَانَةِ He said وسلم, rather the women of this world are better than the maidens of paradise in the same way that the outer lining of the garment is more beautiful than the inner lining. 
So the garment on the outside with its decoration and beauty over the garment on the inside. And Umm Salama radiallahu anha responds and she says, وَبِمَا ذَاكِ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ And on what basis is that, O Messenger of Allah? And he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, بِصَلَاتِهِنَّ وَصِيَامِهِنَّ وَعِبَادَتِهِنَّ Because of their prayers, because of their fasting, and because of their worship of Allah. So the believing women who enter paradise from this world will have the beauty of their creation and the beauty of their ibadah. They'll have the beauty of their worship and righteousness added to the beauty of their creation and paradise. And Ibn Abbas said, if a woman of paradise was to show her wrist between the heavens and the earth, the whole creation would be infatuated by her beauty. And if she showed her veil or her garment, it would steal the light of the sun. And if she exposed her face, its beauty would illuminate everything between the heavens and the earth. So our beauty in Jannah, women and men, is more than this world could handle. And we will all be more beautiful than anyone ever seen on the face of this earth. Now, it's not just beauty, but also the functionality of the body that's different. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the people of paradise will eat and drink, but they will not blow their noses, nor will they need to relieve themselves or digest their food or urinate. So we have no excretions from the body in Jannah. No urine, no mucus, no menses. So how does the food and the drink come out? Well, remember the mechanics of Jannah and the hows are different. So the realm of possibility is entirely different. The Prophet ﷺ said that we would sweat and burp musk that inspires us to glorify Allah, not out of heat or discomfort or indigestion, but only in ways that are pleasing and pleasant. And what do we do in this world when we sneeze? We say Alhamdulillah naturally. And in Jannah, you naturally will praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with every one of those. And some of the scholars said we had to come to this earth to use the bathroom because Adam and Eve ate from a tree that moved their stomachs in a strange way. So treat this earth like a bathroom stop and continue on your journey back to Jannah. So why do we even have organs or do we have organs in Jannah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Some of the scholars said we probably don't have organs. And if we do have organs, then certainly not the ones that we had in this dunya. But there is a level of being described again as transparent beings. So for example, the Prophet some said you could see the bone marrow of a woman in paradise. And that doesn't sound particularly beautiful here, but it will all make sense when we get there, inshallah ta'ala. Even our communication, how do we talk to each other? Do we all speak Arabic? The famous quote that the language of the people of paradise will be Arabic isn't a hadith, but some scholars said that at that point, perhaps we all know and speak Arabic. And Allah knows best, but we will be able to communicate in ways that we can understand and be understood. And there's some form of common language amongst the people of paradise. But reflect for a moment on the connection between our bodies in Jannah and how we used our bodies in dunya. You're asked about your body and how you consumed it on the Day of Judgment. And the wounds of the Shuhada are flowing with beauty as they once did with blood on the Day of Judgment. And it's all beautiful scented perfume. And in dunya, you asked Allah to beautify your khuluq, being your character, as He beautified your khalq, being your creation. Allahumma kama ahsanta khalqi fahassin khuluqi. Oh Allah, as you have beautified my outside, beautify my inside. And now in Jannah, your creation is beautified because of your character. And in that is a sign that if you focus on your inner beauty in this life, Allah will beautify your outer beauty in the next in ways you could never imagine. Ya ayyatuhan nafsul mutma'innah irji'i ila rabbiki radiyatan mardiyah fadkhuli fi ibadi wadkhuli jannati
welcome back it is still the ibt ramadan series and we hope you enjoyed uh what you just listened to from the jannah series or should i say from the quran recitation yeah. to the jannah series and talking about the jannah series i hope we are all doing our best to make use of what it is that we have heard and that said uh we'll be going now to uh, check out i charades and yeah if you know the segments it's one with buckets of laughs you're going to laugh and i hope you're also going to learn something for someone who is not familiar with uh, the aisha Ritz game i hope uh, you're going to learn something or two and i'm talking to myself as well because <laughs> on the streets it was very interesting seeing what people were doing yes. and how they were trying to act out so right after that will be shepherd's cave and remember shepherd's cave is brought to you by lotus bank so on this episode of the shepherd's cave we'll be looking more into lotus bank so that said we'll be going now on a short break stick around we'll be right back Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's your favorite boy on the street, Abdurrahman Idris, and this is Aisha Raids. You know how we roll on Aisha Raids now. We enter the streets now. We check out our pairs. We give one of them a word to act the other guesses correctly within one minute. That's it. The word for today is charity. Yes, charity might be quite difficult to get, but if someone says sodako, I'll take it. If someone says arms given to the poor, yeah, I'll still take it because it's all trying to say the same thing. So why don't you join me in the streets? And let's check out how, as usual now, our brothers and sisters will perform. Right here we have a mother versus daughter. Let's see if, you know, <laughs> they, they also share this psychic bond that will help them with these charades. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Abdurrahman, what's your name, huh? My name is Abdurrahman. Okay. Oh, so, Jimo, okay, good. So, I've told mom, I've told her a word now. Eh? I want her to act that word for you. Mm? You have one minute to try to guess what she's acting. So, Ma, you will not say the word to her. You will not tell her. But you act it for her. Describe it. You must not even say anything. You must not talk at all. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, Bismillah. Mm -hmm. Walking stick. Walking yeah. stick. Sorry, Mama. Sorry, Grandma. Say walking stick. She's wrong. We do like this. Don't talk, just do like this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey. Mopping stick. Walking stick. Ah, I don't know. If she's wrong, just do like this. Just be looking at her. If you're wrong, she'll tell you. Mm -mm. If you're right, she'll do like this for you. So give her another one to help her to get it. You have 30 seconds more. Hey. Man, I can't bring out anything from your bag. Just use your body like that to describe. Mm. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. She has given you good. Hey! Ah, she even ended it with a wonderful 10 seconds more. She did it, she gave you good acting skills. Oh yeah. It's up to you now. Eh? Hey! Subhanallah. Walihamdulillah. Five. Four. Say something. Three. Two. Hey! More time up. Ah, and she gave you good. Hey! Don't say the word with your mouth, but you can act. Yeah, what do you think she's doing? You have one minute. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Good morning. Greet everybody for you. Everybody. Hello. <laughs> Hello. If she's wrong, do like this, ma. If she's right, then you do like this. So what she's saying is not the right answer now. So do like this. So ma, that's not the answer. She's not doing good money. She's doing something else. What do you think she's doing? Keep guessing. You have 30 seconds more. So keep, keep acting for her. Maybe she will get it with another acting. Hello, with everybody for you. And your quest is now. That's not what she's doing, yo. Hey! What do you call that kind of act? What do you describe it as? Like genuinely. Yeah. Hey, what is it called? No. No. It's close to Zakat, but it is not. Hey. Yeah, eesh. <laughs> hey, Abdurrahman, represent us well. Uh, the answer is somewhere in your head. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. said something close to it earlier, but I just need you to say something that is more precise. 
Gdje je? Aha, 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 it's not a cat, it's something close. Hey, hey, it's running, it's running, it's running away, Abdurrahman. We're well, going to remove this name. I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to petition Abdurrahman today. I'm going to petition, eh? Abdurrahman being half. All on phone, okay? I'm going to petition. Why are you doing like this to us? Well, of course, you're really close. You're really close. Because I just wanted you to be more precise. But you got the answer, but you didn't hit the nail on the head. And we're looking for precision. So you did well. So this is for you from Right Foods. Thank you. Sir. This is for you from Right Foods. Yes, I have a lot of fire. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It was wonderful, fun, and exciting. A whole lot of, you know, it was, what got me was that walking stick. Walking stick. Oh, mama, oh, papa. <laughs> and they didn't actually get that. Oh, they were trying to actually give out something. But kudos to those that tried, those that were very close, but I needed them to say charity or sodako. That other brother said zakat. I'm like, yeah, something close. If you are giving me sodako, I'd have taken it from them. But they all tried. We say a big thank you to every one of them for trying. And of course, to our sponsors, Right Foods, for sponsoring this, makers of Biggie Drinks, Fairless Energy Drink, Rights and Biggie Sausages. As you make your favorite boy on the streets, Abdurrahman Idris, to like come your way on the street again, keep getting ready, who knows? I might just, you know, catch you on the street. Masalam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Shepherd's Cave on iBeauty Beauty TV. My name is Abdusemi Okwade. Shepherd's Cave is a program on iBeauty Beauty TV where we invite young entrepreneurs who have business ideas, business proposals, but unfortunately, not everyone is able to finance that idea into reality. Now, this is where Lotus Bank comes in. Lotus Bank is giving every entrepreneur that opportunity for them to come and pitch their business to the top moguls we have in the industry that is why shepherd's cave is here so stay tuned we'll go on a short break now and when i come back i'm going to explain in detail what lotus bank stands for and what non-interest system is all about welcome back to the show this is still shepherd's cave have you always wondered what non-interest banking is all about well it's not far-fetched non-interest banking is simply the ethical banking system which has come to serve as an alternative, like a direct alternative to the conventional banking system. The banking system is such that we don't have to inconvenience people. Whenever you come to get your loans, come to get your, your requests and the likes, you know, it's not always like that. Do you fall in the category of those people that believe that non-interest banking system is a system strictly for Muslims or by Muslims and only for them? 
Well, you don't need to do that. You need to realize that non-banking system, quite all right, is governed by the Sharia law and the Sharia principles, but doesn't still stay on that. People from other religion, whether you are a Muslim or you are a Christian, you can also take non-interest banking system as an activity. So before I run you through what non-interest banking system represents, let's ask the question, why was there even a non-interest banking system? Since the beginning of the 18th century, banking has been conducted on an interest-based system of lending money to those in need, with no other alternative available. People had no choice but to borrow money at often high interest rates. This also led to the formation of an unfair system that brought unnecessary hardship on people. The objective, however, of non-interest system was to provide a financial alternative that was fair, transparent, and above all, a source of economic upliftment for all those in need. Non-interest banking is simply a bank platform where interest rates play no role. A banking system which is also governed by a resilient code of ethics in all its practices and functions. So till we meet again on the next episode, this is Shepard's Cave on iBeauty TV brought to you by Lotus Bank. Stay tuned, stay tuned to learn more. Ma You're welcome back from that um, educative and informative segment, you know, uh, Shepherd's Cave. I hope you got to learn a lot about uh, Lotus Bank. So right about now, we'll be moving on with iRiddles. Yes, I'm sure for folks that don't already have an idea of what iRiddles is all about, you know, after watching one or two episodes, you're like, okay, <laughs> in I've, Ramadan. I've got, I've got this. I can yeah? do this. When you're already thinking of how to break your fast and you're not like one bros on the streets telling you to solve something. Yeah. As well. After that one, we are going to be going for Mortal Guinness Cocktail Lounge and Style Fusion. It's coming. Uh, that's from Maymuna. And I hope you're going to enjoy that one. Uh, a lot of stuffs that you yeah. didn't know you could make with Mortal Guinness. Really and uh, coming with that, we also have viral videos for you that we are sure you are going to love. That said, we are going on a break now. Stick around, we'll be back before you know it. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It's your favorite boy, Abdurrahman Idris on the street. This is Viva I Riddles Party brought to you by Aspira, makers of Viva Plus detergent powder, Viva Plus gold detergent powder, and Viva Plus laundry sanitizer detergent powder. Yes, without further ado, let us jump into the riddle of the day. Here goes. Imagine we have two planes. One is in the United States of America, let's say New York. The other is in France. In the middle, we have the Atlantic Ocean. So the two planes take off at exactly the same time. One is traveling at 500 miles per hour. The other is traveling a little bit slower at 450 miles per hour. When they meet, which will be the closer one to France? This is the riddle for today. Let us jump into the street, see how the folks on the street will be able to solve this riddle. The one traveling slower. The one traveling slower, that's France, Abi. Like logically, right? <laughs> oh yeah, the one traveling faster. The one traveling faster? Yeah. That's your final answer? Yes. Say something. You might be the right answer. Hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Faster. Slower. When they meet, which will be closer to France? The one coming from France. The one coming from France because it's slower, Abby. Well, who knows if that's the right answer. I'm going to tell you right at the end of the show. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which one is closer? To France. It's France. The one coming from France will be closer because France. it's slower, right? Yes. That's your answer. Yes. Final answer? Yes, sure. Traveling faster at 500 miles per hour, traveling mm -hmm. slower at mm -hmm. 450 miles per hour. At the point where they meet in the air, which one of them will be closer to France? Remember, this guy is faster, this guy is slower. 
is this? The one from France? Yes, it will be closer to France because it's slower. It's going um, 450 kilometers. So it will not have covered as much, much distance. as this distance. This one will have covered. Yeah, because it's close to France. So it's definitely the one that will still be close to Final answer? Ding, 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 ding. Yes, final answer. Final answer. Unfortunately, that's not the right answer. Let me tell you the answer. Okay. So now look at this. This is traveling from France. This is traveling from... This guy is faster at the point they meet, which is closer to France. They are both, they are both closer to France. They are both at the same distance wow. to France. That's the answer. So and this is for you, Koti Viva. Okay, Dada Kumola Okairan to Viva Plus, right? Yeah, may Allah bless them. May Allah I mean, make their brand a bigger one. I mean, may Allah grant them all their wishes. Help us say a big Jazakallah Khairan to them. Jazakumullah Khairan, Viva Aspirant. Thank you very much. That's um, Aspirant, the makers of Viva Plus Detergent Powder. Jazakumullah Khairan. So I want to say a big, very big thank you to um, Viva Plus. And it's a wrap on today's entertaining segment of Viva I Riddles. Yes, the question for today was quite simple. You know, there was a lot of misdirect to the question. I kept hammering on faster, slower, not knowing it's not relevant to the question because at the point when they both meet, they'll both be at the same distance. Yes, folks are home. Yes, you're not left out also. So here's the home play question for today. We all know the tallest mountain in the world is Mount Everest, right? But before Mount Everest was discovered, tell me, what was the highest or the tallest mountain in the world? Yes, if you know the answer to that, hit us up on our social media handle at IBT Inspire and at Viva Plus Detergent. If you give us the answer, if it's correct, we'll hit you up with your goodies. I still remain your favorite boy on the streets, Abdurrahman Idris. And don't forget that this segment is proudly brought to you by Aspira, makers of Viva Plus Detergent, Viva Plus Gold Detergent Powder, and Viva Plus Laundry Sanitizer detergent powder. Keep using Viva Plus for that spotlessly clean and scented wash. Till I come your way, Masala. What is your definition of a lead day? For me, every day comes with its own vibe. Some days, you just want to have fun with your best is. Other days, you just want to chill and finish that series. Some days are for rolling up your sleeves and beating down those market prices. While some days are for the family and those nutty nephews and nieces. Luckily, we can enjoy these days and live life to the fullest, knowing that Viva is there to keep us spotlessly clean every day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You're welcome to another refreshing episode of the Malta Guinness Cocktail Lounge. I am Maimuna Ajitumobi, and on here we're going to be putting together non alcoholic, amazing drinks, courtesy of our sponsor, Malta Guinness. And of course, these drinks will be infused with Malta Guinness. Now, you stand a chance of winning amazing gifts on this segment. All you have to do is replicate the drinks we're going to be making today, um, put up a picture of yourself enjoying Malta Guinness, share, you know, stories of how you enjoy your multi Guinness, put it up on Instagram, tag at iBeautyInspire and use the hashtag Ramadan with Malta. Yes. Makario, what's up? Hello. What are we doing today? Yeah, we're making multi strawberry multi Guinness. Okay, so what are you going to put in? Yeah, I will, fix, I will make it, I'll be making use of my fresh strawberries okay. and uh, multi Guinness and making it for a all. mocktail. Yes. All right, let's start cooking. Yeah, so okay. what's the first thing we're doing? Can I just make, pass me the glasses too. Okay. There you go. So, we're going to have like two fresh strawberries. Okay. Pop. We're not, we're not doing any um, form of blending? Yeah, no, we're not blending. I'll be modeling this time. I'll be using a different method of making right. cocktail, mocktails. This, this looks interesting. So, so what am I expecting? I know I ask this all the time. I like to, I like to always think about, you know, this is what I'm going to take, and then I want it to be like that. So, what yeah. am I expecting? So, you know, for, for you to see strawberry, expect something fruity and okay. refreshing as well. So, so I'll be adding my sugar syrup. 
How many uh, is it meal we're on to yes, we're using yes. this time around? Yeah, we're, we're, using, we're using meal as usual. Okay, so that's like your normal teaspoon? Tea, yeah, exactly, teaspoon okay. of sugar, so, so, so you make it too sweet. So I'll be modeling my strawberries. Yeah. Okay, so basically this is to, to do what now? What? Why is it, why is it crushing syrup? it? Yeah, I have to crush it so it can blend properly with the malt of Guinness. Okay. So, to, to add value, we'll add more vitamin, all the necessary things you need. And I think essentially you can main. taste the strawberry sure, sure. even while drinking it. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So you're going to need more definitely. Yes. One or two. And two. Okay. Here you go. So, I'll add in my ice. Ice, as usual. Yeah. I'm sure you're wondering why am I filling up the ice to the brim. To the brim, exactly. Yeah, I was just going to I'm, ask. I'm basically, I'm only doing that. So it can, oh, it won't allow, it won't make, allow my drink water down so fast. So just to hold the drink properly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's well. I'm doing enough. Okay, that's fine. This is always refreshing on its own. <laughs> So let me garnish it as usual. Okay. Just by the end. Yes. Pretty. You know, this is most cocktails, more, even, if, even if you did it at uh, most restaurants, we don't use umbrellas in making cocktails anymore. <laughs> so it's fancy. Okay. So my that sherry malt is, is ready. All right. Moment of truth. I'm going to taste this and give you my honest feedback. I expect to be blown away. That's your word, right? Sure. All right. Let's do this. Okay, so it has this fruity, um, I can feel the multiguiness, I can feel the fruits, it just blends in properly and it just has this really juicy feel. Exactly. Really nice, so I'm going to go back to enjoying this. We will go on a short break. Remember, to with gifts on this segment, to replicate this, tell us your stories about multiguiness, how you use multiguiness, how you drink it with your food, share a picture with us on Instagram, tag at iBeautyInspire, and use the hashtag Ramadan with Malta. Do not go anywhere, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the Malta Guinness Cocktail Lounge. I'm having an amazing time enjoying this that we have put together. Now, on the gifts you stand a chance of winning on this segment, this is the goodie bag you will be going on with if you send in your entry to um, at iBeauty Inspire on Instagram, tag us, and you use the hashtag Ramadan with Malta. Easy peasy, that is all you have to do. Tell us how you enjoy your Malta Guinness, replicate the drink, send us your pictures, and you'll be going on with this goodie bag. Now, before I go off to finally recline and enjoy this, let us give you style fusion. Our target today is Alal Wears on Instagram. Instagram. Now, Alal Wears is a brand that caters to Muslim women for your hijabs, your jilbabs, your kimars, and even your niqabs. Alal Wears is there for you. They ship globally, they are affordable, and the best part is that they also offer styling services. So, you want to buy stuff from them and you want to style it, you have an event you want them to style you, Alal Wears is where you should go to. So, hit them up on Instagram, check out their page, and of course, patronize them. To round up this segment, I will be leaving you as usual with a viral video. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow, inshallah, the IB2 Ramadan TV series continues. I am Maimuna Ajit Mobi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Everyone, share goodness with someone today. Malta Guinness, enjoy a world of good. Uh, one of the greatest acts of worship in our religion is 
dua, supplication. And dua is of how many types? Ithnain. Ithnain, two types. The first type is? Dua al-ibadah. Dua al-ibadah. Okay, give me a few examples. Zakat, Som, Hajj, Shahada. Yes, all of these noble acts will be fasting, uh, praying, doing adhkar, carrying out yadkar. All of these acts are a form of dua. Muhammad Dilil, what's the proof of this? Prophet Muhammad said, Yes, the Prophet said that dua is the essence and the foundation of worship. This is the first time. Everyone, share goodness with someone today. Morton Guinness, enjoy a world of good. Yo, welcome back. Uh, we do hope you enjoyed the viral video and the segments that came before. So, uh, what's next is to leave you with I rhymes because we're coming to the concluding end of the show. It is time for us to say our uh, bed advice for today's <laughs> show. We'll be back, inshallah, tomorrow. I remain Omola Bakaraji. And I am Abdurrahman Idris. Don't forget that I rhymes continues, but we'll catch you some other time, inshallah. Masala.